All right, so we're talking about silene capensis or silene capensis. This is a very interesting substance. There's not much information about this, um, but the people that have used silene capensis, and I'm going to be trying it very soon, if I can get hold of some, is that they've noticed that you're able to invo invoke very vivid and profound dreams, and the chances of you becoming lucid in those dreams is a lot higher. So it's obviously another dream enhancer, another uh, lucid dream I don't want to say inducer because nothing really induces a lucid dream. It's it's more of a, a lucid dreaming aid or a lucid dreaming support. So in this video I'm just going to tell you a bit more about ceiling capensis and how you can use it, you know, some of the benefits, some of the side effects and maybe where you can get some because it's quite hard to get hold of this stuff. So for a long time the shamans of Africa used this herb to actually connect with the elders of their tribe or what they would refer to as the lost ones or you know their their spirit guides. And although that sounds a bit wacky uh, there is some sort of truth behind this, you know, it was originally called Andlela Zimhalofe. I think I'm saying that right, that's probably completely wrong. The other name for it is, is simply White Paths or White Spirits. And the people that used it, you know, they thought of Selene Capensis as a powerful healing herb and they would use it for its effects and its healing properties on the body. And I find this so interesting because there are so many herbs and, and plants and things that we just don't know enough about, you know, these natural remedies or, or alternative medicines that a lot of people around the world use and we just know almost nothing about them. They're so interesting and amazing and when we do study them, you know, the very the rare ones that we do study, we find out that they're really onto something. There's actually some incredible benefits and interesting effects of these of these substances. So traditionally in the Hosa traditional death ceremony, the plant is actually used to sort of bring closure and peace to the people and give a sense of symbiosis and connection and connection between the, the living and the dead and so it's sort of like a gateway substance almost to connect these two different worlds the living and the dead and it's like a, a way of a way of making peace with what's happened and sort of passing through so it's a very interesting concept in the traditional ceremonies that use this substance they actually have a three day lot a full three day ceremony including all sorts of initiations and weird like i don't want to say weird but different and unusual uh rituals and, and things that they do. In regards to how it actually relates to lucid dreaming, okay, you can't just go out and buy, you know, like a, a pill of this stuff, or at least I don't think you can at the time of making this. Um, the, traditionally, you would have to get what's known as the root or the chosa root, the chosa root, the Celian capensis root, and you would use that. You would use that um, ideally by breaking it up into small pieces and then steeping it in, in some hot water. So you would then drink the water, almost like a tea or a brew, and then the active ingredients would come from the root and then into your bloodstream through you drinking the, the substance like that. Now with this sort of thing, obviously you have to be very careful with where you get it from, for one, like not every uh, seller or vendor is reputable. So choose your vendor carefully, but also you need to make sure that you get the dosages right. Start with the absolute smallest dose and you know ask the whoever you buy it from, ask them what the smallest safe dose is and don't don't accidentally you know take too much of it or too strong a dose because with this sort of stuff you, you can never be too careful you know there's all sorts of horror stories of reactions and interactions so just start off really slowly with a small dosage if you're going to try this and then go from there. Allegedly it takes several hours before the effects actually start to kick in um, so ideally you'd have some sort of food about an hour after taking the route to uh, keep yourself going while you're waiting for the effects to kick in uh, and then you might even need a few more doses of the root later on during the day if it's not enough. It's definitely a good idea to have somebody with you if you're going to even think about trying this. Um, I've personally never tried it so I can't say you know what exactly it feels like. I'm just sort of summarising what's been done on it and what's been said on this, this substance in the past. In terms of actually how you know when it's working, it seems to be quite vague, uh, you know, certainly from the stories and, and the experiences I'm reading about online. People don't seem to know exactly when they've achieved the desired result. And I assume the desired result is an effect on your dreams or some sort of hallucinogenic state or vision. But actually when that will happen is sort of unclear. And I can't really find any reliable information about when and how that would happen. So really I guess it's just a case of trial and error and sort of researching about it, consulting like your doctor or whoever you are consulting with this stuff or your nutritionalist or whoever and really just being careful about the dosages and learning how it interacts with the various things that you also might be taking like for example if you're on any other sorts of medications it could have a reaction with those but in terms of like actual effects of when you do take it and when you get the right the right dosage of the active ingredients into your system 
People report all sorts of things from like vivid dreams to intense visions, uh, hallucinogenic states, being able to perceive what people have described as a much broader spectrum of colour than they are used to. If you imagine all of the colours that you know and are aware of now, Im imagine now being able to perceive and understand ten times the amount of colours that you already know. And it doesn't really, you can't really imagine something like that very easily because you know what colours exist and, and you don't know what colours don't exist because it's, it's sort of like a paradox. But if you imagine just being able to perceive more colours than you know exist, that's sort of the effect and the level of um, intensity that this substance can give you. So that's it for now guys. If you do want to have a look or like learn more about this, I did write a blog post about this, but again, there's not much information that I could find about how to use it and people's experiences. So if you have actually tried this, if you are one of the people who've, who've had an experience with this uh, substance, with Celine Capensis, leave a comment letting me know what you think. That's it for now guys. Check the links in the description if you want to buy some of this or try it out for yourself. I might have some links for some reputable vendors, but these change all the time, so I'm going to try and update the links in the description regularly. Um, so that's it for now, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. This video and this channel were supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.